Hello and welcome to the Brick Seeks. This is the reason you have to wait seven or eight days again for the next videos. Yeah, 5300 pieces, the toy square, the toy shop, Arthol Square, I don't know, it has many names. Yes, it's from G-Star, the original design is from Brickative and this is the G-Star version of the set. Now you will see a lot of photos of the assembly, 19 building steps. So there are some photos and of the final set and the minifigs. And so I believe it's a, around 100 pictures you now have to watch and listen to, I hopefully, lovely music. And uh, then I tell you if this here is like all the other precative uh, modulars I have built, a no-brainer or are here some things I, I don't like and perhaps I would say don't buy this. You will see in three to four minutes after the video show. Okay.
far you've seen all the pictures of the assembly and the final set. So three, four sentences information. So this is a stolen mock from Brickative. I know. Link is in the video description to the site of Brickative with the overview of all their fantastic modulars. And especially a second link goes to this here so you can buy the instructions for 26 bucks. I don't know if it was euro or dollar. I haven't watched for the sign. I watched only or I looked only for the number. The number was 26. And so for 26 bucks in any currency, <laughs> this is available. And if you have the money, please buy this. And because the experience you have from assembly this here is so unique, you will never have this experience with Lego or something like that. Okay, so this set is a little bit older, but I wanted to show you. And this set is also available from Morg. Perhaps somebody of you... I've seen this from another company. Yes, both sold in this design of Brickative. A link to the set where you can buy this to a very good price is in the video description too. Okay, the difference between the Morg set and the original design from Brickative is this a little bit out of place half pipe. I'm happy I have a half pipe. Yeah, it's okay. There is always a place in the city where you can place a half pipe. But to this set here, I don't know. But okay, I take it. I take it. Next is this little go kart. Another thing, why is this go kart in this set? And perhaps they could sell it in the toy store. Then this makes a little bit more sense. Because uh, this is not really a half pipe compatible. So a really unnecessary uh, go-kart in this set, but a cute one. I really like it. I'm a great Mario Kart fan. There's only a red seat missing, but and a printed, it has a printed uh, sign. Yes, CS8912, like the number of the set. Not the number of the beast. That's another number. But Okay, and you've seen pictures of the 10 minifigs with this trolley or... Well, baby's dead. Sorry, the baby died, because this here is an uh, old man with shaky hands. A skateboard, a camera, a toolbox, a balloon. But you've seen the pictures. The minifigs are... All right, and it's nice to get, it's always nice to get a lot of minifigs for your modular so you can place them inside, outside, and you have the look of it's alive. So I'm happy with this. But let's go through. This is one and a half base blade, so this is 38.25 centimeters, 25.5 centimeters, like a normal base blade. It's not built on base blades, it's built on plates. Yeah, so. And it's, yeah, it must be 30, between 34 and 35 centimeters in height. So like you've seen in the assembly videos, this is on normal blades. So you have to be a little bit creative to integrate this uh, into the city. From the level, he spit on it. From the level and <laughs> checkbox one, this will happen perhaps one or two times more. Um, it's not easy to integrate in a, to, to the normal modulus we have, but I believe it's good to integrate with some of the brickative sets I've seen on the side. It looks like this here and another one on the side looks matching perfect. So have a look. Uh, perhaps you find the perfect match for this set on the brickative website. Uh, this here stands a little bit out if you want to place a normal modular here. And on the bag here the, the flowers. They are overstanding. Okay. So let's go through like always. Instructions. This is the worst part of the set. The instructions are not very good. They are small. I'm 52. I'm wearing glasses since, uh, glasses since over 40 years. So it could be a little bit bigger. It was big enough that I wa wasn't swearing. <laughs> um, 
but it was sometimes a little bit exhausting. Yeah? Um, all the old parts are totally great. Sometimes it would be nice then they are uh, desaturated for a better overview, but it was okay. Um, some of the colors are a little bit off in the instructions than to real life. Black, dark tur, normal tur, uh, and orange are a little bit off, but you get used to it. So not, that's not, not a really problem. Then more, the size is more a problem than the mismatching colors. Um, yeah. Next thing is if you're new to the game of alternative bricks, if you are only building Lego or something like that, um, these are 110 pages for 5300 pieces. So that's another level than, than Lego. So 48 pieces for each side. So all of the little building steps have two, three, four, or sometimes 30 pieces. So, <laughs> okay, instructions, not good, but they do the job. Uh, quality, G-Star, the clutch power is higher than Lego. So I have a little bit of a beginning rheumatic illness in my left hand, because I'm a male nurse. I put a lot on, on the uh, compression socks. You know what I mean for old people, and they are really compressing. So you need a if you're doing this 20, 25 times of these compressing socks, it goes to your hand, and then you come home and building 5k on pieces with a high clutch power. This time I felt it in my hand after uh, completing this. The clutch power is a little bit higher. So if you buy this for little children, um, be aware of it could be a little bit sometimes difficult for them to really connect totally. I just want to say it. The good thing is nothing falls apart. Okay, this year, but the rest here, the clutch power is really, really good. A lot of pieces are only on one start or one connection and nothing falls apart. Um, but I want to mention it. And some of the tiles, especially the dark bluish gray, the curved ones and the right angled ones, they are slightly um, slightly brighter. But the rest on, on the house itself, I didn't recognize anything, only here. But it's not so that you're looking, oh, do you really have to look close? So that's okay. And you can always say weathering. <laughs> Different layer of debris on, on, on the tiles. Okay, but I just want to mention it. It's a little bit more exhausting to build this when you only know Lego or something like that. Okay. But uh, the, the doors and uh, the glasses of the windows have barely no scratches. They are not milky. That's okay. Absolutely. This is not as good as Lego, but close to. You can... I have no complaints. Only the, the hardness. The rest is okay. I've seen much worse things here in the last years. So, and all the other guys, perhaps, if you build a G-Star set and know the quality, Please tell the new, is this here? I believe this here must be one position behind. It looks a little bit off. Okay, uh, if you new to, uh, write the newbies if you have any experience with G-Star, so they get it from another person, not only from me, for me it was absolutely okay. But where this set here shines is not only that it looks really extraordinary, the facade, uh, of the main building, uh, the building techniques. If you have ever built a brickative set, that's two levels over Lego or anything else. The two times I had most fun with brick sets and building buildings was Lego Ninjago City. For me, one of the best sets ever. Don't, don't care what other people say, this is one of the best sets ever made from a human. <laughs> and next are the brickative sets. In the end card I make your links to the houses I've built. They are from Chicago and Rael, but they are extraordinary. And this year is in most part extraordinary too. The building techniques are gorgeous, really. It's only for the building experience you can buy the set. <laughs> really, if you like it and watching, oh yeah, it's okay, buy it. The building experience will make up any things you don't like about the set. So, 
What is not so good? Okay, the integration is not easy. This part here is a little bit flimsy. The, the corners, especially the corner here, is a little bit flimsy uh, till the rest, the last layer fixes it all. I'm not used to get this from Brickative, so I was a little bit surprised. Um, but okay, that's, it's not a case of uh, wobbly as hell, but it was unusual. Uh, building techniques here are common, nothing special here. Yeah. Here it's a little bit more unusual, the building techniques. And then you're coming to the main set. You build first only the facade, if you have seen it, you've seen in the pictures, only the facade. Then you're building the two stories and then you're building the roof. And uh, you start with this here. You don't finish it, the roof is still missing. Then you connect it to this here after you build a facade. You connect it and then you're filling the, this, the main house, and then you're roofing it. Okay. Um, like I said, building techniques, gorgeous. Yeah. I know it could be a little bit more love inside and everything, but to be honest, when this here is integrated in the city, what is really important on the set? That it looks very gorgeous from the outside. That's the main thing. I've seen much worse modulars inside. I've seen better inside, but the level of detail and the things they sell could a little bit more, but it's okay. It's okay. So, but now comes the, the cool thing of the set. This is a flimsy door. The rest not, but this here is a ghost door. So, but now comes the part where the set is really shining because it's module modularity. Mm. Okay. Easy. I believe this here, can I? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing special. So, now you have the possibilities first to open it. If this is not enough for you, you can. Oh, great! I made these two. So, okay. So now you've seen a little bit. From this side, the facade looks a little bit strange, but uh, like I said, it's it's how it's built. This here you build. On, on the set. Here you're building the walls and then attaching to the set. Here you're building mostly like normal modulus, really raw, 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 and inside all the details, nice. But this is very special, that you can uh, disassemble a modular and get access in this quality. So Brigative tries this a lot to make the house really open. They have a lot of modulars you can really open. And I think that's a, a good, if you have the possibility design-wise or architecture-wise, if you have no problems with stability or anything like that, then I believe it's always a better choice if you can them open too. So. I know mo the most modular buildings are never coming into children's hand. But um, I think it's, it's okay if you have the possibility. So this here is the, a little bit tricky here, the last one. And I don't know if I have the amount of... Ah. Okay. Was it this way or was it this way? Hmm. I believe it doesn't matter really. <laughs> so, okay, reassembled, really, two minutes, so great. Okay, let's go through. Instructions, nah, worst part of the set. These two things 
unnecessary and they don't fit really well to the rest of the set, but a nice addition. Quality of the pieces could be a little bit better, but you have a great clutch power <laughs> and you have mostly a good color consistency. So on the houses itself, you won't see different shades of one color. So it's only here on the tiles. So great. The look of the house, I think it's great. It looks really cool. It's a bigger one. The people have space here. They can talk. I think it's gorgeous. I would change perhaps the yellow to another color because I'm not a big yellow fan. Um, and it's not much pieces you have to change, so it's 12, 10, 12 bucks for additional pieces in another color. I would do that if I would keep uh, the building. Um, these color torquies, I don't know, in German it's turquoise. Um, turquoise, I don't know how it's pronounced, you know what I mean. Um, two years ago, I would say nobody make a house with this color, but you have two here. <laughs> a few meters to this and a hundred meters to that side. We have two colors with, or two houses with that color, or nearly that color, eye-popping color. So meanwhile I say, okay, it brings fun to the city and it brings life to the city, color to the city. So it's okay. And it's a smaller building in this color. So overall I think this is a good looking set. You can have an other opinion, but I think overall this is good looking. I like especially always the building, uh, the builded signs or names of the uh, of the things, pet shop and other the head shop and a lot of other uh, modulars that have them. The building experience, only the other brick. This is the worst brickative I've built from six, five or six, but it's still so on top of nearly everything I've. I've seen or assembled uh, in buildings, on buildings. Also Young is another great designer, has great uh, solutions. He's nearly on the level of Brickative. Uh, Bricky Brick has great modulus, great looking modulus with cool ideas and lovely details, but the building techniques are a little bit more usual or normal. So together with Also Young, this is, are the best modulus from the building experience you can have. Next is a good accessibility. It's easy to disassemble, to get it really here so children can play. You can show easy access, perhaps only opening the walls, not disassembly everything. So you get easy access to, to the set. It could be a little bit more detailed inside, a little bit more things, but that's on a good level, on a good level. Um, the only thing is, it's a little bit strange because this here is only a stairway. But here is a, a stairway too, so I can access here the second floor. Why is this here only a staircase? So for, for the purpose of things, <coughs> sorry, this has no purpose. It looks cool and I can understand he wants to do something here in the corner, um, but purpose, this has no sense or no, no purpose. This here has no purpose too, it's nothing inside, but it looks nice and the building techniques are cool. Oh, my dog is... Rawr. I believe he's seen the, the neighbor's cats. You hear him? Rawr. It's a little wiener dog, but on higher legs, because the mother is a Labrador. <laughs> Daddy is a, a dwarf a wiener dog with curly hairs and the mother was a Labrador. <laughs> it's a funny, a funny animal and a lovely dog. Okay, and she loves to bark at things like most of the, the wiener dogs does it. Okay, um, I think this is the worst brickative building, but still better than 90% of the modulars I know. The building experience is gorgeous of the facade here and the, the, the the stories inside. This here is, it starts low with this here, it gets better with that and then it becomes boo with this here. Okay, not much more to say. If you like it, buy it, you won't regret it. Believe my words, if you like the look of this here 
and you can integrate it into your city and you have the money, then buy it, you won't regret it. And if you have the additional 26 bucks, then buy the, the PDF version of Brickative because these guys are really special. Okay, thank you for watching. If you're asking yourself, what is next on this fantastic channel? Uh, a little bit smaller set, 3000 pieces technique, but I will take, it will need, I will need the same time like this here. Um, 19 building steps, 10 to 12 hours. Um, six building steps, 12 hours, I believe. I have only done the first one, the gearbox, and this was, wow, <laughs> already 60 gears or something in the first building step. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good time. Please feel free to comment. What do you think about this set? What do you think about of the other Brickative uh, modular buildings? Are you the same opinion as I am? They are top, on top of everything. Yeah, the top Predator. Okay, thank you. Have a good time. Bye bye.